Welcome to YouTube Excel Finance Trick number 18. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and download the workbook Finance Tricks 1 to 17. Hey, 17? This is trick 18. Yeah, this is a little extra trick. We're going to learn about the QME PMT function. This function will actually calculate the total interest paid for a certain period on a amortized loan. So here it is. We have a loan, right? 150,000. We have a period interest rate. We have a total number of periods. And this is going to be a quarterly payment. So our goal is to figure out all the interest for any given year. And anytime you have interest, there is a tax advantage. So we'll then t calculate the tax advantage and the net cash out. All right, now this is going to be pretty complicated. And I'm going to start here the function here in the second year because figuring out the math is uh, more logically obvious when I start in the second or third year than it is with the first year. So I'm going to click in the cell equals C-U-M-I-P-M-T. And this one, pretty good when you're learning a function for the first time to click here and then read each one of these arguments. Not only that, but this is a tricky one because it looks like there's only one, two, three, four, five arguments. But look at this. There's a scroll bar. Oop, can't forget that one. Uh, I'm going to click uh, OK and OK. and can't. So I'm still going to type it here because it'll be easier for some of our discussions. But again, those dialog boxes are awesome because it'll tell you about all the different um, elements of this function. All right, rate. That's going to be our period rate right there. And I'm going to lock it going down. Comma. Our NPER is the total number of periods. We have quarters and 15 years, so that's 60. And I'm going to lock it going down comma, the present value. Now, this is a cash flow, $150,000. And it is a positive because it's going into our pocket. F4, twice to lock it. Now, the starting period and the ending period. Now, for year two, the starting period has to be five. Because this first year, there were how many payments? One, two, three, four. The second year, the starting period is 5. The ending period would be 8. Now, we have to be pretty clever given our setup here calculating that. So I'm just going to hit comma and skip that for now and come back to it. Now, end period. That one for us for the second year is 8. So I think I can get away with just every time, every line copying it down and up. Whatever the year is, and that's a relative cell reference, times the number of quarters, F4 to lock it. Now, comma, the type, and this is different than PMT. PMT, you have one or zero, and if you leave the zero out, by default, it'll assume that the payment is at the end. This function, you got to type it in. You actually can't just leave it off. So I'm going to put zero because the payments are at the end. Close parentheses. Now, I'm going to come back to this argument right here. Now I'm going to come back to this start period and see if I can't figure out a way. Because for this line right here, our start period needs to be 5. Hey, how about this? We will take uh, 2 times our quarters, 4, and I'm going to lock that. That'll give us 8. But what we really need to do is subtract 3 every single time than when we copy it down. So minus. And then in parentheses, the number of periods locked minus 1. And that will give us every single time. Here it will give us 8 minus 3, which is 5. Down here, it will give us 12 minus 3, which is also our starting point for that line. Let's go ahead and Control Enter and double click and send it down and copy it up one. Now let's scroll down a little bit. Let's go to this line and see um, if we can 
watch the Excel calculate that starting date. Because uh, for this line for the 15th year, the starting period is 57 and the ending period is 60. So let's run Formula Evaluator, either formulas, formula auditing, evaluate formula in 2007, or tools, formula auditing in 2003. Or you can use your keyboard shortcut, hold Alt, and then type T-U-F, Alt, Tough. Now watch this. We'll watch it in action. I'm going to click Evaluate. It's got 15, that's the years, times 4, that's the 60, minus, and then 4 minus 1 is 3. So the starting period is 57, and 15 times 4 is 60. So there it has the starting period and the ending period, and the rest of it then just calculates the cumulative interest for that period. Now we have a problem here, this number error. And we'll deal with that in just a moment. But watch this. Here's the cumulative interest for the year. And here is the uh, tax benefit. Remember, when you put this on your tax return, it saves you paying out some interest. So it's in essence, uh, the net difference is like there's a cash coming in. When you have a savings on cash going out, it's like a cash coming in. So the net difference then is the difference between these two. And that's the actual cash going out. And for cash flow analysis, this type of uh, breaking apart an interest payment and figuring out what the net cash is is very important. Now I'm going to click in the cell here and hit F2. Notice I wanted this to uh, update in accordance to the years here, so I have a little formula here <clears throat> that's looking here and then comparing it over here. And I want to actually scoop this out, highlight the if all the way to the zero and the extra comma. and Control C. That little bit is all I need to calculate the actual tax benefit. This is just to help the table work efficiently. I'm going to, I copy, because so I Control C. I'm going to tab just to look here, F2. You can see I use the same exact logic right there. So I'm going to do that same logic here. This is a test to either put a zero or the calculation into the cell. I'm going to hit F2. I'm going to point right before the uh, C, but after the equal sign and Control V. I'm very carefully going to go all the way to the end. And this is dangerous, so sometimes you have to come up to the formula bar. In 2007, you can actually click and drag the formula bar down. You can always move the screen tip out of the way. And when you see that cursor right there, you can click and drag. Now I need to come and put a close parenthesis on the end. All this is doing is to testing to see if this year is uh, greater than this. Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. And there our little table works. So that's how to use the, uh, the QME PMT to calculate cumulative interest for a year and then a little uh, tax and cash flow analysis. All right, that's it for finance tricks, at least these 18. We'll see you next time for more fun with Excel.